blessings divine radiance so guess what i am driving on my way to get a facial and we just gonna stick to the theme of the black screen for downloads because i was receiving a download so i was talking to one of my sisters in light right and I was explaining to her how I just felt excitement, right? Like I was feeling the things that are coming as if they were already here. And as I was sharing that with her, spirit started to speak. And spirit was saying that this is another layer of how it works. Now, if you were watching the downloads previously, you would have remembered me saying that I was existing in parallel universes all at once. Now, I also shared with you how I never felt small when I was in at Emerson kindergarten through third grade how I can see myself on the playground and I see how tiny I was but I never felt small so before I could see myself like from an aerial view right and then recently well not so recently it's been a little while now but I began seeing my face like the left side of my face looking down at me on the playground right so now if we think about it that is three versions of me existing in three different universes right observing self right it's crazy y'all it's crazy and it's not really it's just spirit is revealing different realities like different layers of the reality that we're existing in and the realities that we are existing in so anyways so then as i was saying that as i was talking to my sister in light and i was saying i can feel it spirit was like that's how you manifest it because when you release the blocks when you heal the trauma and when you become connected to your highest self and direct connected to the divine you become aware you become aware of the fact that you are existing in these universes right you access these universes and you access self in these universes right so this is why I'm able to connect to spirit I'm able to receive accurate information right omnipresence we are everywhere at all times but although this is true when we haven't healed, we have no consciousness of it. We just don't, and we don't have any access to it, right? So it was just amazing to have Spirit explain the reason why the feeling is so important. Because if I can feel what's happening next on my journey, if I can feel it as if it is already happening, right? Because this is what I said, it's like I can feel it as if it's already happening. Spirit said that's because it is. It is already happening. It is happening in a parallel universe one of the existing universes that you are existing in but when i have access to it and i can feel it and feel it as if i'm experiencing it right now because i am it makes it easy for me to take it from that universe where it is happening and put it here in this one right this is the power of feeling as it relates to manifesting when I tell you things are manifesting like instantly, like it's like, it's mind blowing y'all. It is mind blowing and there are levels and layers to this journey. And I can show you how, I can show you how, but what it takes is you releasing ego, you releasing fear, you releasing doubt, and you allowing your soul to guide you. If any of these downloads have spoken to you, and if you haven't watched the previous ones, especially one through five, because that's one whole message in order in its entirety, then I would say go back. But if these messages have resonated with you at all on any level, it is time for us to work together. Spirit is on fire, y'all. Let me tell you, it's like the downloads keep coming. I was in the shower getting downloads. I was getting downloads going to my car. I was getting downloads taking my son to work. I was getting more downloads headed to my facial. And I always get downloads, but the way they're coming, Spirit is like, you're in an up level. You're in an up level. I even manifested that. Telling Spirit, I am ready for all of my gifts to come through. Right? I am ready for all of my gifts to come through. I am choosing to release any blocks both consciously and unconsciously aware the ones that i'm consciously and unconsciously aware of i'm choosing to release those blocks that are keeping me from activating and accessing accessing all of my gifts right man i feel excited i feel blessed i feel grateful i feel happy i feel whole i feel complete it's a beautiful feeling but it started from my healing and it continues through my maintenance. 
But yeah, but that was the message I was sharing with you all is how I never really paid attention. Now, if you've been with me in Empower Hour and you've watched videos, whether it's the horoscope readings or Monday Money Message or whatever I've shared, I've often said how I could see myself on the playground, but I never felt small. It's because when I was viewing myself on that playground, I was viewing myself as my higher self. And now, like I said, now I see my higher self viewing me on the playground. It's a trip. It's a trip. I'm just waiting for that next level so I can view that version of me, view, visual, seeing that other version of me, seeing the other version of me. It's layers, y'all. It's layers. Are you ready to tap into those layers and just breathe? For those of you that are feeling a little overwhelmed because there's a lot of information coming through, just breathe. If you must pause, just pause and come back to it. Just don't not come back to it. Because see, that's what happens. Sometimes we're full, right? We're full. We've received, right? And instead of continuing to stuff our spiritual mouth, we just stop and we process, right? And then the pooping part is the applying it, right? And then we exist in that moment of applying and then we're hungry again and we go back and we eat some more good old soul food because what happens if we don't eat we starve if we starve we die right so this is the maintenance process forever maintaining and growing from the point of healing and development that we've achieved it's just a beautiful thing y'all beautiful thing i'm telling you spirit is on fire this girl is on fire this girl is on fire okay anyways let me share some of this fire with you you ready to get on fire with me you know we are surrounded by angels of highest light and love we are surrounded by our ancestors we are surrounded by ascended masters we are surrounded by all the helpful companions of highest light and love that who are here to assist us on our journey right but we are being called by spirit to step up step up because if we don't step up for self, no one else will, including our spirit team. Like our spirit team will match us and then some. But first, we've got to stand up for self. We've got to do what we must for self, what our souls are prompting us to do. And it's not even just relating to working with me. This is in every area of your life, right? Every area of your life, not letting doubt and fear stop you. Not letting doubt and fear stop you. And sometimes... That doubt and that fear isn't just centered around money. Sometimes that doubt and that fear is doubting and fearing your own greatness. So you will unconsciously sabotage yourself and prevent yourself from moving into your next level of greatness. Now let that sink in. But then we use things like money as an excuse, right? Or we use things like my spouse isn't going to approve i guarantee if you see the value in something whether it's working with me or something else if you truly see the value in it and you are ready for it you will stop at nothing to make it happen and your spouse will come around for those of you that that's your story right so yeah yeah spirit is ready to bless you Spirit is ready to bless you. If you have reached a, a plateau, right, where you've accomplished a lot, but you're like, you know what? I'm just still here and I'm ready for that next level. I've been searching, but I don't know what that next level looks like. Well, this is what it looks like. Are you ready? Schedule your consultation. Let's get to work, right? This is what that looks like. Are you ready? Schedule your consultation. Let's get to work. And for those of you that feel like, oh, I'm going through something. I'm sad. I'm stuck in depression. I don't really know what to do. I'm losing hope or I've lost hope at the conscious level. Because if you're on here right now, you have not fully lost hope. You haven't. But this is, this is that answer right here. Let's do it. Schedule your consultation. Let's get to work. Let's do it. Let's do it. You know what I'm fired up about? I'm fired up to serve you. I'm fired up to serve you. I'm fired up to serve you. I don't think you understand how fired up I am to serve you. And this is coming from a selfless place. 
you know, I was talking to a sister of light who's also a soul client and something happened where there was a lesson for, for this particular person, right? There was a lesson. And in that lesson, when they came back, they were going to be at a different level of their financial investment. And there were some lessons there for them, as I said. So when they learned the lesson, spirit said, do this for them, right? And I was excited. And I'm like, how many, like, I'm like, how many people will get excited about receiving less money, right? But I'm excited. Like, I'm excited for you. And, and here's the thing. That's because it's not about the money. Money is just an energy. It is going to come, period, because that's what I've chosen. My excitement is serving you because when I serve you and you're connected to yourself in every existence when you're connected to the divine directly guess what you can then teach others the same thing and we together are literally changing the world we together are literally shifting the collective consciousness and when the consciousness shifts this is when the world shifts the world is in our personal world but also the world as the collective. So this is bigger than me and you. This is bigger than an investment. This is bigger than a, a, a check, right? It's so much bigger and it's so much deeper. And my joy is in that deeper, right? My joy is in that deeper. But you know what? I just got here. I'm parking right now. I'm squeezing myself in to this itty bitty space. And I'm about to go in and Get this facial, y'all. Get this facial. And you remember when I told you guys, I'm going to tell you this and then I'm going to go. But you remember when I told you, I said, I am choosing not to circulate any money in the month of December. Spirit told me that. And, and I didn't know why, you know, outside of essential things, right? I didn't understand why. And then the other day I understood because when we were having the conversation throughout the downloads, one of the things that I was led to say to you was, I was led to say to you, how many things are you putting your money into that doesn't serve you? Let's see. And we're, yeah, there I am. There I am. Nothing on my face. So I'm getting a facial. But how many things are you putting your money in that doesn't serve your soul, right? Unnecessary, unessential things. And when we break down what those things are and how many things we're doing that with, we'd be surprised how much we have to invest in our soul right and so listen i was getting tested left and right there's this one site and it just popped up and it has some cute stuff right cute 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 stuff and the site the stuff on the site is really expensive but there was this one outfit that was low 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 i mean like the pants were on sale for ten dollars and the top was on sale for twenty dollars okay excuse me and i was like oh i put it in the cart as i was putting the cart i'm like okay I agreed I'm not circulating no money this month. That's not an essential. I just put in the cart because it felt good. But there was no way I was I was getting it. And I didn't. Then there's this coat. There's this coat that is essential for my wardrobe. Okay. But it's not really essential. But it's a, a piece that my wardrobe is missing. And you know what I said? Because I could have justified that. But I knew. Mm -mm, I'm not justifying stuff within myself. I, I know what it is. And I said, well, if it's meant for me to have it, it'll be there after this is done. And if not, if it is, it'll be on sale probably. And if not, I'll just find it some other way. And with me saying that to you, this is one of the things that we're being called to remember as it relates to our faith, right? There's no justifying, right? Stepping outside of what spirit guided us to do because we're justifying why it's okay. We know what it is, right? But then that layer of faith, that next layer is knowing if it's for me, it'll still be for me whether I do it now or later, right? It'll still be for me. It'll still be for me, right? So if spirit tells